y'all welcome to my channel welcome if you're new y'all so it is the day after the talk of the town new york's earthquake that took place yesterday guys april 5th at like 10 23 a.m new york it's really new jersey had an earthquake but new york city felt the impact okay so where was i i was at work i was at work when this earthquake happened and like all new yorkers we was like what the f is that <laughs> Like, every video i seen, like, if somebody was on recording themselves or if they was on live and the earthquake happened during their live stream, they was, like, starstruck, like, what the f*** is going on? Like, <laughs> because as New Yorkers, like, we're not used to earthquakes. Like, they said the last time we had an earthquake, earthquake was in 2011. Honestly, I don't remember that. I don't even know where I was in 2011. I was probably, what, in junior high school or something like that. I don't remember that at all. Like, I've never, like, really experienced an earthquake. So, yeah, let me tell you my story of how I found out it was an earthquake. I'm at work, and I'm with a customer, and I'm doing her transaction for her. And my coworker next to, um, my coworker, Shani, is sitting next to me. Hey, Shani. So, my coworker, Shani, is sitting next to me, and, you know, above us, of where we work, is a food court right so we're used to like rumbles and tumbles and we'd be like what the hell are you doing up there you know what i'm saying like we'd be like ah what's going on <laughs> so this time i don't know damn i really can't remember like how i really felt all i remember is like looking at shenny like and we looked up like what the f is that <laughs> Like, literally, that's what we said to each other. We was like, what the fuck is that? Right? After I looked up, I looked at my customer. My customer looking at me like, and I'm looking at her like, I don't know. <laughs> right? Seconds later, my um, my supervisor, she comes to the back. And she was like, y'all okay? Everything okay? And we were like, yeah, you felt that too? Like, we thought it was just up there. She was like, no, because she was on a Zoom call. And apparently the person that was at the Zoom call who's not at our location felt the same thing. So she came off the Zoom call to check on us. And Lee, we like, nah. So she was like, that was an earthquake. And we was like, earthquake, right? And my customer phone, my customer's phone rang and it was her grandmother and basically her grandmother was calling to check on her to was like did you feel that are you okay like where are you and she was like i'm at work she was like um i'm doing a transaction before i go to work and she was like earthquake and when she said earthquake i was like earthquake like what so mind you the customer is still at my desk i'm here calling my mom because i'm like oh my god like if i if we all felt this my mom had to feel it so I called my mom, and my mom was like, hello? And I was like, did you feel that? She goes, yeah, what the f is that? <laughs> I'm telling you, that was everybody's reaction. What the F was that? <laughs> like, like I, we never experienced an earthquake, so we don't know what the earthquake feels like. Like, we always hear stories or the news and this, that, and the third. So my mom didn't know my mom thought that she was the only one who felt it she thought it was something with the house she thought it was the boiler she thought the house was about to blow up and i'm like are you okay and she's like yeah um again what the is that <laughs> and i was like i'm with a customer i'll call you back that customer took it didn't take a long time but i had another customer after that so it took me a minute to like actually call her back so she calls me back but i couldn't answer the phone so i call her back probably like two minutes later and she was like, it was a 4.8 earthquake. And I'm like, bro, that's crazy. She was scared. I don't want to say I was scared because I didn't know. We didn't know what it was. We were just like, dang, like, what they doing up there? Because, like, again, it's a food court above us. So, like, they roll the trays or whatever. They roll their food. Like, whatever is up there, we, we, we don't feel, like, vibration, like, but we hear it and we're like, uh. but this time we felt like kind of like vibration 
and it was just like it lasted longer than it should have so we were just looking at like i swear to god we was like okay like <laughs> so when it was confirmed that it was an earthquake like my whole mood changed like oh my god that could have been worse that could have been worse like thank god everybody's okay and yeah but i had no idea that that was an earthquake like <laughs> then my cousin cheyenne she started texting me she's like i heard just heard what happened are you okay and i'm like yeah girl like i didn't know it was an earthquake like i felt it but i didn't know it was an earthquake <laughs> like they literally had to like really confirm with me that it was an earthquake like what the freak like, literally when i say nobody knew that it was an earthquake like we think like we're from new york so like even somebody playing loud music with their car and like it and the bass is high enough like you'll feel like a vibration when they pass so like even with trains passing you'll feel the vibration so everybody was like what is going on like come on asia texted me she was like bro she thought it was the trains passing or whatever she did not know until her co-worker was like y'all felt that and she was like that's not the trains and she, the girl was like no <laughs> oh my god my co-worker betsy she texts me she thought she left the gas or something off on and she was like nobody knew nobody knew like we're not used to this we're not accustomed to having earthquakes so we don't know what it is so everybody was just confused and we were like the Harlem shake like what's going on nobody knew everybody on Instagram was like y'all felt that am I the only one y'all felt that did you feel it comment down below comment down below right now did you feel the earthquake are you or are you one of those who was like I don't know what y'all talking about I ain't feel nothing I slept through that because baby I felt it and I didn't know it was an earthquake I thought it was just the people upstairs <laughs> but yeah so that's my story I was at work when the earthquake happened then at like 5 40 or like almost minutes to six o'clock last night the aftershock happened but i was driving and i'm on the phone with my mom and you know we could laugh about it now that it happened obviously because we were like we never experienced an earthquake and she's telling me this person called and checked on her she called this one back home and she was like, Therese, I think I feel something. Or she was like, or is that the people upstairs? I said, nah, it's probably the people upstairs because I don't feel nothing. She's like, you sure? You sure? Then she's watching the news and then they, it says that an aftershock just happened. So she goes, see, I told you I'm not going crazy. <laughs> I'm just like, bro, I don't feel nothing. So the aftershock, I didn't feel anything. I was driving and I didn't feel not a damn thing. Like, I was just like, okay, like, you know what I'm saying? So an aftershock did occur and I did not feel it. Um, but yeah, it's low-key scary. Like, I thought, like, immediately I was like, oh my God, my apartment, like, it's newly constructed. I hope that these workers did a good job. I hope I don't come home to, like, a building crumbled or whatever, but apparently nothing was damaged no injuries was reported it was just frantic people trying to figure out what the hell was going on <laughs> you know people were like going outside and then people who don't live in new york new jersey they're commenting them like when it's an earthquake you're not supposed to go outside you're supposed to hide under a desk or a table or something and it's like bro we don't know that we've we don't experience earthquakes as like let's say california does like california people are saying like oh it's a regular like 4.8 that's nothing like that's nothing to worry about like they sleep through that and i'm like bruh <laughs> like what are you saying like i was never we was never taught in school like earthquake hide under the dust because again new york doesn't have those type of situations where we have to learn about it so it was pretty like a little scary situation and when i tell y'all it messed up my mood so bad so like once it was confirmed that it was an earthquake like i started feeling like pain through my neck 
like not not like pain pain but like tension you i want to say and i was like bro can i get a disability for this because i'm stressed out like i stressed to be out with this <laughs> and then like towards the ending of my shift like i had a customer and i really messed up his his transaction and i'm blaming it on the earthquake i'm blaming that the earthquake i couldn't focus it messed it messed with my mental like i'm blaming it all on the earthquake so yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna be like um come monday i'm gonna be like yeah because the earthquake took a toll on me and i couldn't concentrate i didn't see the numbers correctly and i do apologize it won't happen again but you know i'm gonna need a few days a mental health day to decompress <laughs> y'all but comment down below where you guys were when the earthquake occurred like did you feel it some people said that they didn't feel it some people said that they were in a grocery store grocery store had no idea what was going on people's calling them checking up checking up on them and they're like what are you talking about but i felt it and i honestly didn't even know it was an earthquake like honestly everybody who works in my building we're blaming the food court upstairs be like damn like what they doing up there like construction or something like what is going on? Not knowing it's a whole earthquake. So yeah. Pray for New York City, y'all, because an eclipse is coming on Monday. 4-8th. April 8th. 4-8th. 2024. And the earthquake was a 4.8. That's not like a little conspiracy thing going on right there. I don't know, y'all. I ain't really into all that, so I don't know. But I saw a comment, and I was like... Huh, 4.8 earthquake. The eclipse is on April 8th, 4-8th. Hmm, is the world coming to an end? Let me go ahead and post this video before the world comes to an end and nobody gonna see me. But anyways, y'all, I hope y'all are safe. If you're in New York, New Jersey, I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. We're gonna go on without life. And hopefully this doesn't happen again. Bye!